13 American accents ranked easiest to hardest to understand. It's going to be a really fun video. You guys definitely got to let me know if any of your accents are included in this. I'm really excited to see if I can understand them and stuff and just check out some cool, unique accents. Before we do get into this, we're super close to 200,000 subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you guys that's hit that subscribe button. Let's just straight into this and check this out. Which is the easiest American accent to understand? Okay. Which is the hardest? Well, how y'all doing? I'm about to learn you something real quick. Well, I chose oh, 13 accents from all across the US and I ranked them from easiest to hardest. Don't mind if you do such a thing. Well, my name is Ollie Richards. I speak eight languages. I've written dozens of language learning books. It's gonna be good. But I'm fascinated by accents, especially English accents from across the pond. Right. So let's see how many of these you can recognize. Evening, your time now, 3.42. This just did. Me. Send things over to my colleague here, Robert Burton. You know, Robert. Wait, wait. She sounds like um, or like the American news presenters I've heard before. So what I said would that be? It was such a wild day at work. Wow. How did things go over on your end? Southern. Like, no, this is sun. not a trick, but don't try this at home. Listen, you might think you've got a handle on the American way of talking, but trust me, it's a far more complex beast than you might imagine. Now, okay. the easiest accent is so common, it's practically invisible. This is what people <laughs> think of most when they think of the American accent. This is right. when you're going and you're watching movies and you're hearing an American, this is what you're usually hearing. Easy to okay. follow, easy to imitate, and as American as apple pie. Think Ooh. Jennifer Aniston. I will say the thing that I think that I know is actually the thing that I think that I know. The voice. Hey, hey, I do love Jennifer Aniston and I do love her accent. I, I just, I just love it. <laughs> of any news anchor or your average Joe. Now, not only if we all began to wear suspenders, would we increase the net masculinity of the American public? And okay. uh, you're just sick and tired, tired of always looking like a plumber when you bend over to get your work done. Of course, it's no accident. They are speaking like that on purpose so that you will all understand them. It's what's called the general American accent, the okay. gold standard for clarity. If you come from places like the Midwest or Northern California, well, congratulations. You're probably rocking this accent without even... Oh, right. I was so wrong. I, 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 thought, I thought it would be around, like, not Southern... But like the like round, so I was kind of right. It's here, but I was thinking more along like here, right? But yeah, it is an easy accent to understand. For clarity, if you come from places like the Midwest or Northern California, yeah, well, congratulations, like you're probably rocking this accent without even trying. Now, things can only heat up from here. So as we go along, I want you to keep your eyes and ears open. There okay. is one accent on this list that non-Americans voted as the hardest one of all to understand. Which one do you think it is? See if you can guess before we get to it. And no cheating. So Yo, wait, I'm going to have a quick guess right now, right? Isn't there like a, like a farmer island? to the, the on the east coast there's just like you just can't understand like it's, it's really hard we go back to the house and maybe chill for a minute or two uh, then we're gonna meet up with our pals eat some supper this is cool skater dude this is skater dude accent i don't know where in america but this is cool skater dude bro sounds like a plan dude if you don't get this accent right off the bat then you've probably never watched american tv it is the accent of sun-kissed beaches tech giants and avocado toast and hollywood loves it there's okay. no shortage of characters mimicking this though? accent hard to understand i wouldn't say nah. so but a lot of other foreigners get confused just say what you're normally say but just do it like in a slow california California, bro. <laughs> California. Just say it in a slow... Or chiller way. Chiller way. You know what I mean? Right, I okay. know what you mean. I see it now. <laughs> Nothing like a little bit of vocal fry to warm you up. Heavy on the vowels, got a bit of a drawl and... Yo, I absolutely love these accent videos because I just... I'm so bad at accents, right? But I just love... I Hopefully you guys are doing it with me. I know you guys are from America, most of you. So you, you might not do it with me. But for me, the South from America is so fun to try it. Everything's a question. You know where we are. The words are stuck in the back of my throat. I have like a vocal fry, but I don't know. Like it went away. People were like, you know, it's not that big of a deal. If you said Southern California, you were right. Right, on the yeah, money. California. But by the way, as you can tell, I don't have a particularly American accent. Not at all, actually. So if I say something here that you disagree with, don't yeah. hold back. Let me have it in the comments. All feedback is welcome. Wait, where is he from? Because his accent is like. I wouldn't even know. Like, I would say his accent is like in the middle of like British and American, like merged. You know what I'm saying? Now, some American accents are straight fire, while others, not so much. We've covered the know. smooth talkers, but now we're heading into trickier territory. He is at the ready. I grew up talking like this. I just kind of had to learn how to church it up a little bit, you know. South somewhere. Good job. 
but it's always been here. I'm frankly I'm a little bit more comfortable talking like this, so this is what I typically default back. It is friendly, like it is popular, seven. everyone in the whole world knows it, and despite yeah. the draw, it it's surprisingly easy to understand, because as you can hear, nobody's in a huge hurry. And our accent is known for really drawing out its words. Someone like... Oh, you know what? I really like this accent when women... I, I like the male accent. I like this accent overall, but I don't know. When, like, you play video games or you watch movies and the women... Like, Red Dead Redemption, I'm playing that right now on stream. If you guys want to check it out, twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. But the women have this accent and, yeah, just... I feel like it makes them more attractive, man. <laughs> and our accent is known for really drawing out its words. Someone like Matthew McConaughey is a perfect example of this. You heard the lady, I but I've got to warn you, this accent's got more accents than a rattlesnake's got rattles. So even if you can guess which state it's from, you'll have a hard time nailing down the exact region. Okay. For one thing, there's all the Spanish loan words. I don't give up easy. You know, in Spanish, they call it terco, which terco. means hard-headed. It might take me a while to accomplish what I want to accomplish, but I set a goal and I'm going to try to achieve it. With all that history and all those horses, what are you going to get? Well, a bunch of westerns, for one. I say, let's us put our bread in some of that gravy while it is still hot. See if you can tell me where this guy is from. It's one of the oldest and most distinct accents of the whole state. Okay. Well, didn't find nothing the first 30 minutes. That's a telltale sign I don't need to be out here. It is the sound. Wait, 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 wait. Why does that sound like Chris Alabama? Is this, is this Miss Mississippi? Sound of the piney woods and we are obviously talking about the texan accent and in case you're wondering i said texas first mate you threw me off i said texas first you threw me off <laughs> why i've got texas in the easy bucket well it's only because we're so familiar with the accent from movies and this is what it makes it somewhat easier to understand right. Any texans out there listen up how good are you at knowing who's who in your state. The University of Texas did a study on this and more than 70% of Texans claim that they can identify someone's exact area based on their accent. It's a oh, huge really? state though, so that's pretty good. How about you? And if you think we're off to a good start, please like the video, subscribe oh, to the channel, really and like hit this that video, notification man. I bell find for more awesome so fun. accents from around the world. Coffee, I got coffee here. Bro, of course you know where this is from, man. This is New York, coffee. I got coffee here. Coffee! I got coffee. Does anybody want coffee? Coffee. Frank, I'll take a cup. What are you trying to be funny, Karen? You're not funny. You're really <laughs> living up to your name. Welcome to an iconic accent. It's fast, it. it's loud, it's often very nasally, and it can often sound urgent or assertive. In other words, the accent is anything but laid back. A nice Give me sandwich. A coffee. Okay, we'll make a nice sandwich, veal sandwich. Well, that's just a dead giveaway. It was influenced by Italians, and a bit right. of news here. My list is my list, and I'm including American opinions, but this accent came up in that survey I mentioned earlier, remember? Which accent do non-Americans think is hardest? This wasn't the winner, but it's in the top five. The thing is, even ah. Americans traveling abroad Wait, 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 wait. People think that accent is one of the hardest? Nah. I feel like so far all the accents are pretty easy to understand, for me especially. Americans think is hardest. This wasn't the winner, but it's in the top five. Thing is, ah. even Americans traveling abroad with this accent often say that nobody understands them. So it's not ah. as easy for us foreigners as you might think. In some neighborhoods, you might even wonder if you accidentally switched into a different language. Uh, I remember I lived on East 81st Street, uh, across the street from my grandparents, which was... Okay, okay. So, so in words, she's saying a little bit difficult, but I'm still, I'm still getting it, and I feel like this is like a really strong accent in new york really nice as a kid growing up what a great accent where's she from which part well these city folks always use a heck of a lot of idiomatic expressions all their own and the regional exactly. identity is very very strong last clue quick question is there a supermarket or a deli where i could get cold cuts around here we're all hungry hun let's settle in and we'll figure it out i have no mascara on Found you know what i really wish right i've said this since i was a kid to be fair I really wish I had an American accent. I hate how sharp the British accent is. So you know how like how we say words so sharply? You know, I really wish I could just trade accents. You know what? I might just go to accent class and just end up like, talking like an American. I don't know which one I'll choose though, because there's quite a few that I like. Tina, don't worry about the remote right now. We didn't travel 800 miles to watch Cake Boys. Go on, pause the video and put your best guess in the comments. Here right, it comes. Bonus points if you got... 
Brooklyn and Staten Island. It's yes, the iconic sounds of New York City. Whoever missed this one, confession time. 7.45, he wakes up, he goes down to church, St. John Chrysostom. Then he comes home, he puts on his black and gold, heads on down to Heinz Field, meets up with my cousin Natalie Carapinas. They hang out there, have a couple kill bosses, have a couple... Okay, this is a little bit harder to understand. I am missing quite a few words. And I have no clue where in America where this could be. Wow. Right? That was English. These guys might as well have their own dictionary. I'm not joking. I threw this one in because when you mix all the local words in with the accent, it gets a little bit confusing. Right. Least, I think so. And they really seem to have fun with it. Examples? Well, first of all, forget you all or you guys. Here, it's all about yins. It's a huh? staple of the local lingo. Yeah, I'm going downtown. I got my eye rock off of blocks, you know. Uh, live up and it's kind of giving me Australian vibes. Like, it don't fully sound Australian, but I'm getting like a hint of Australian vibes. I don't know why. Washington County, you're going to get down and uh, check out the game this uh, Sunday. They're real good this year. They talk fast and there's a lot of squishing words together. If you're not right. used to the pace, you'll probably be asking them to slow down a little bit. One more clue. Hey, you best watch that bush. It's full of jaggers. Hey, it's been raining all night. Be careful on them. I'm going to guess it's northeast just because I have no clue where, like, what I send this is. I have no clue. It is a little bit harder to understand. Bro, if this is rank number five, easy to hardest, what are the next ones going to be? <laughs> what? Steps, they're slippy out there. Yeah, yeah, I'm just letting that work right now. Meet me downtown. We'll talk about it. Right, downtown. place your bets now. We are talking about the funny, quirky accent of, here it comes, Pittsburgh. Did I you get it? Kind of I knew you guys were good. I got a pig at home and a pen corn to feed him my own. All I need is a pretty little girl to feed him when I'm gone. Love it or hate it. This act I love it. It makes me feel good. This is a feel good accent. It makes me feel good. It reminds me of Red Dead Redemption again. <laughs> so my guess is somewhere near Texas, bro. I'm going to say Mississippi. Accent is very, very popular. It's as charming as it gets. Nobody's going to argue with that. Three right, kids yeah. later, I'm over here doing daddy stuff. Like my buddy called me the other day and said, hey man, bike night's coming up. You going to be there? I said, oh, when? And he said, Friday night, 6 p.m. I was like, oh, man, my oldest, he got a bounce house party. Bounce I, I got to go to that one. What on earth is it number five though? Well, that drool might be so smooth, so cool to our ears, but easy to understand? I yeah. Know about that. Yeah. It starts off all... <laughs> And then things get gradually trickier the further south you travel. Okay. I got living, breathing Yelp review coming in here pitching a fit before he's even had a bite to eat yet. I, uh, I don't know what he just said there. The first sentence I knew, but what, I, <laughs> what did he just say? Where to Conway, Tweety? You make me want. <sighs> when you're hotter than Greece, say yes to peace. When you're hotter Buddy, than Greece. Buddy, where are you from? North Kakalaki. <laughs> North what? Listen, you guys occupy a huge area of the US and you have so many accents that some are borderline dialects. Right. So easy or hard definitely depends on which neck of the woods you are in. Okay. It's currently 78 degrees. I'm bound to contract malaria. Get snake bit, and my feeder might even start making popcorn. You didn't say nothing to your bronc. Tell me a whole thing. I don't eat much that stuff. Eat a little bit of supper. <laughs> what is he saying? Rip that thing, I go bad if I don't eat it. With all this it just sounds like he's saying, da 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 <laughs> Sub dialects hiding in the valley. Things can get pretty crazy. My best friend got this man, and for the life of me, I cannot find any like in my heart for this man. Okay. I ain't got no like in my soul for this man. But okay. The hatred. The Yo, the way she says soul right there, she's definitely near Mississippi. The way she says soul, she says soul with soul, man. The hatred I got for this man, y'all, is strong. Try losing your friend in the woods, and you'll know all about it. I knew I shouldn't have took my monkey tail out here with you die home white coat. Don't let me in the damn woods. Harry, I am come get me. Pure <laughs> rage. It is, of course, a southern accent. What's right. next? That's true. You know. Oh, wait, we're just classing it as southern? Rage. It is, of course, a... Wait, so the South is a very big place with a lot of states, dude. We're just casting it as Southern. Ah, uh, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I was technically right. Southern accent. What's next? That's true, Lord. You know, thought I'd see my friend Wyatt. Walk out the road, John Deere DT 170 was out in the front yard. He was one son and saw his dad's welding mask. He had it on. I went over to him. He was like, you want to see something? I was like, of course. Of course I do. I wouldn't mind. Anyone not know where this is? Well, people like me have to go scrolling through Netflix to get a... Yo, not know where he is. I don't know what he said. Bro, did any... <laughs> what? What did he even say? Clue. Now, some people say this accent is much more rugged than others from the region. Right. I read this on good old Quora, but I couldn't tell the difference between that accent and the next one if my life depended on it. Got three lawnmowers, four four-wheelers. Whoa, buddy, way to cut us off. 
six dirt bikes, a couple boats, you know. Now, let's say, for instance, you're hanging a picture on the wall. Big time. And, you're, and it's, it just needs to move just a bit. Well, I can understand him. So, yeah, like, people in the region definitely have stronger and, like, easier. Like, I can definitely understand this guy. You would say it needs to move just a dike. Yeah, just over, 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 just over. a die. Not that much. Just move it over. Just, just a die. And then there's this other place that does strange things, like adding R's in weird places. We're headed to the beach for some coffee milk no, no. and grinders. Well, you know the Providence Place Mall is the largest carpeted mall in New England. Hmm. Where'd it go? What do you think? If we go to Providence, go downtown, it's only like 20 minutes away. What do you say? Better write down your guesses quick, because I'm going to give you I have two no price clue. of one here. It is country versus big city. If you guessed no clue. Vermont, Maine and Rhode Island, you got them. But did you get the order right? Uh huh. There was a survey about this. Yep, here comes the survey. And as it turns out, when Americans are traveling overseas, us foreigners understand you least if you're from Rhode Island, followed by okay. Maine. Stephen King will be proud. Okay, you can stop holding your breath for the big city accent. Here we come. On you right now, there's gonna be another Dunkin' Donuts, okay? You know, straight up, like, over the hill. Across the street used to be another Dunkin' Donuts slash, like, Baskin Robbins combo. You know what I'm talking about, all those deals. It's gone now, anyways. On your left is a, st is a stop and shop. That's where my dad likes to go. My mom likes to I feel like this ice is easier than the other two that we've seen. But I don't, is it? Oh, I was gonna say, is he from Baltimore because of the B? <laughs> Brothers, but she says it's too expensive. Anyways, that's where my dad goes, stop and shop. There's a Dunkin' Donuts in that stop and shop. You're gonna go straight through to the rotary. Tell me about your accent. I've been parking cars. Okay. You know, uh, a lot of walking around, my dogs are barking. <laughs> dogs are barking. I feel like he's from like the north somewhere like, uh, it's not Chicago, is it? Is it Chicago? You know, Have you been to the Charles River? I've been to the Charles River. I saw Marky Mark there. Beautiful! Yeah. Boston, baby. Wicked cool town, I hear. In fact, Dave on the story learning team has run the Boston Marathon. Very proud of him. That's right. And if you know your geography, Wait. we are in New England. It sounds like they're rebelling against the rules of America. Wait, Boston's in New England? Oh, I got that so bad. I thought Boston, I thought Boston was near Chicago. Bosses in New England? American. By the way, did you know that American accents are actually getting further away from each other, not closer? Experts. I, see, like, I was going to say Boston, but I was like, Chicago. Nah, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of heard Boston a little bit like, Boston. Boston. Say so, and who am I to argue? Oh, hey there, friends. You want to come over to the backyard and have a little cocktail? Um, are you kidding? It's 33 degrees and... I've heard this accent so much. Where is it from, though? Where is it from? Little cocktail? Where is it from? Oh, it's going to do... A... I've definitely heard this accent a lot, dude. Raining. I know. It's like spring break, eh? No, it's freezing right now. No, it's not. Hey, I haven't seen you since last summer on the lake. How goes it? If you want a pop culture phenomenon, here we go. Prepare to laugh. While you're at it, see if you can pick up some fun regional differences. So, these guys are known for their good manners, strong family ties, Scandinavian blood, and a okay. sing song sound, as any soccer mum will tell you. I was driving down the road the other day, and I was in my van, and this mini, this, oh, this deer, this dang deer just jumped out in front of dang my van. Deer. I didn't even know what was going on. I never thought I'd put Taylor Swift in my videos, but <laughs> she deserves this one. How about that accent, though? Not so hard to call. Copy, right? I don't Before, know where it try is. this on for size. So where are you going to Christmas? Uh, well, first we're going to get the family together. We're going to go to Famous Dave's Barbecue, you know, around Calhoun Square. Oh, haven't you been to Heaven? Because Heaven's so nice, especially around this time of year. You go to Finley or maybe you go to Grand Marais. You know, I have. I, actually, we we're going to go to Hinkley. Had you ever seen the museum there? Apparently, the whole city caught fire once. You take the 494 to Mar Okay, I can't understand her. Mar Maria. I can't understand Maria. Oh, America? <laughs> Tell me what she said verbatim, I dare you. And the accent is from... Wow, it's from Minnesota, also known as okay. the North Star State. Nice one. Did you know they have the oldest rocks on Earth here? True story. I'm going to sneak in another one here, and I'm going to, I'm kind of cheating putting it in with the number eights, because things look very different when we touch down in the city where they don't have Scandinavian blood, and they're famous for the very particular ways they say they're A's. Travel around the country, which I did mostly by illegally riding freight trains, <laughs> which some people might have a problem with, but yeah, whatever. It worked great for me. I mean, it's habitat for wildlife, if anything. For me, it just makes me feel nice when I've been outside dealing with most of the uh, human infrastructure that I normally find so revolting. This is a... Uh, yeah, I have no clue where this is, but I kind of like it. This just calms me down a little bit. No doubt about it, he's from 
Chicago, one Chicago. more wonderful accent in the Great Lakes region. We're past Chicago. halfway, and I had a hard time choosing which accents to include because there are a few really divergent ones out there. If you know any of these immediately, better write it down quickly in the comments. Okay. I'm stringing up my fourth bass. A woman catches me. She tells me to stop. It's her father's business. I tell her no. She starts casting with me. We spend a whole night packing pasties on the fishing reel counter. Well, this sounds a little bit... Okay, some of the words are really hard to understand for me. Out of the ordinary, doesn't it? What does it? Well, I'm not tricking you. The people who speak like this actually have very different historical backgrounds to other Americans. The hard part okay. though, is shoveling the roof off all the time, you know. Last year, I fell off of it. And, you know, with the snow there, it, it, it's a cushion, you know, and you fall in it and it buries you and... And you just lay there and laugh, you know. I just wanted to come on here and check on my friends down in Texas. Are you guys okay? Got some snow down there. I need some help. Need an advice? Tips? <laughs> okay, I know what you're thinking. I already showed you the snow and the snowy accents. Yeah, yeah calm down. This one's not even in the same state, guys. Oh. Last year, we still had 45 inches in the month of April. And so it's the late spring and the length of the season that, that wears on you, not the amount of snow. Okay, what you're hearing is a whole lot of history. Including a heavy dose of Finnish, French, Canadian, Scandinavian, Cornish. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't even be able to guess where this is. Do you know, it's actually crazy how different the American accents can be. But then that, that makes sense, bro, because like the UK, we have like accents that are just so different from each other and the uk is like the size of one state in america bro <laughs> you have 50 of them yeah german and native american throw them all in the pot of snow and what do you get a lot of fun sounds that you only hear uh, in this region it is the Upper accent courtesy of the upper peninsula of michigan okay. i'm gonna give you a hint about the hardest american accent of all so you can start warming up for the big boys ready it's sitting free and happy in the sun in the most linguistically diverse state in all of the u.s but will you get it <laughs> i don't think so well, you right, gotta let's watch see. with the man saying that girl you want to learn this accent you gotta be real intentional that means that when you watch a video you gotta try to pause that video for example i, I watch a lot of taraji p henson movie and uh, she was like oh rob if you will cut out that door, there is no coming back. Bro, you got to... I understand that, Robert. If you're coming out the door, there ain't no, no coming back. Pass that scene and try. This is one with deep try. cultural roots and not actually a regional accent, but a cultural one. Okay. Very significant influence on American pop culture, too. Now, there are so many different versions, I couldn't count them. Some easier to follow, but others sound like it's all in code. Yes, right there, right here. Everywhere, swear, downstairs, upstairs, come do my hair. Yes, we do my hair. Where's her accent from? Get the name. Get come, come over here. With the city, just try. That's cool, then I gotta earn it, crib. You gotta earn your. Shit. Um, oh, it's definitely southern. It's not Alabama, not Mississippi, Arkansas. What? Arkansas. Now, man, you gotta earn your clothes. I gotta earn the crib. You gotta earn your clothes. They my clothes already. What I gotta earn them for? No, you could. I'm not gonna work hard for no clothes that's mine already. Is all I'm saying. What are you? What are you saying? What's fascinating about this accent is it's actually a legitimate dialect with its own grammar rules and okay. so on. Remember, we're talking about a cultural accent. So this is all over the states. It's called oh. African American vernacular. English. One interesting ah. thing about the pronunciation is, back in history, most immigrants from Africa didn't have the the sound in their native languages. So when they were learning English, words like that became that. Interesting, right? Ready to level up to baffling? I'm sorry, I'm right, people do that in the UK though. Say like that instead of that. I want to start the day, you know? Like say Dennis, like Dan instead of Dan. Damn, I had to get some blunts. You feel me? I'm finna get high. I slide back to the crib. Then a little hoe called me. She talking about. I'm trying to slide through. I said, if you trying to give me that air, man, you feel me? Right, I'm out. I did not catch a word of that. <laughs> now, where are we exactly? Well, the city names are coming up in three, two, one. These two are from St. Louis, Missouri, and the last okay. guy is from Florida. How many did you oh, get right? None. Florida, you win this round, none. hands down. But then one day you get lost and go wandering into the foothills. We got water in the, in the man trip we was riding. We was in the back of it, and that water was uh, 12 breaks of water backed up. And it just blowed that coal out just like a explosion, you know? Yeah, yeah I just go to India. I, I don't know what was exposing. Some bathtub exposing. I, I know what he said. You know, first, my welfare with my, with my ex is we were from the state with his grandma. A bunch of her friends come over. I was sitting there saying something to him. Well, they started laughing. And then they come over and started telling me, oh, say this, say this. And they were Yo, she sounded like the famous interview uh, meme. 
I thought someone barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. <laughs> if you know, then you know, bro. I'm to say it, they start laughing. Don't you just love the they rhythm flowing laughing. from their mouths? I've got to say, I find this accent absolutely I don't fascinating. Know she was I can listen to it all day long. I've caught him out of many of a time. It'd take a long time to get into town. And that old, that old buggy, he tell me to work the brake. We start to go up a hill, I can kind of push the brake on. He tell that old mule, say, get up there, he get. <laughs> Miss Goot in the wheel, but he looked back. You know, Tom, he said, turn yeah, the brakes. Yeah, I can't He took three years of corn to feed it at lunch. He start back home about four o'clock. There's a lot to unpack in these accents, so I will keep it short. Ever heard that this brand of English has a really old Elizabethan sound left over from centuries ago? Okay. It does, but it has a much stronger Scotch-Irish heritage. Both of these things gave this English accent that amazing twisted Shakespeare sound that we love. There's a lot of eccentric words and pronunciation going on, but when some... Yo, 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 when I sit like here... Shakespeare, like clips of like plays or movies or whatever, it don't sound like him. Huh? <laughs> I've never heard Shakespeare talk like that. People hit that smoky mountain twang, you're gonna need subtitles. You no, know, we didn't have no electricity, didn't have no electricity, we're running water in, we run it out of the, got it out of the spring. But they eventually got uh, electricity up through here. It is, of course, okay. deep. Yo, did anyone understand that? It'd be very curious to see, like, even if the pe uh, people from America watching this are even getting this or not. Appalachia, Appalachia, I get pulled up on my pronunciation of this all the time in the comments. It's an area that's always had limited access because of the mountains and valleys. So I guess if okay. you live here, well, you're going to be well versed in mountain talk. What's going on, son? What's happening? What's happening? Dynamite here, baby. Where's my crazy bird? Crazy? <laughs> just to be clear, this is not about stereotypes. Millions of voices out here. Home to me is just basically wherever family's at. No matter, like, if you've grown up with them for a long time or just gotten to know them, family's family. I'm starting to I think this court ain't too supreme at all. Y'all, I don't see any sour cream, any tomatoes on this court. This ain't even a regular court. I would call it a value menu court, but value menus actually help people who struggle, so I don't know. If you've never thought about where your own speech habits come from, you should right. find out. It's really interesting. Come back later and tell us what you learned. Well, that is as deep as the Deep South gets. Surely there's no trickier accents still left out there. Yeah, I'm very curious to see what number one is, man. What number we at? Aye, uh, two more. Okay, I don't know how it's gonna get harder from this. Are there? Well, there must, because I'm not finished yet. And when you really want to let the good times roll, better head on down to the land of the next accent. We say shy, and that's a term of endearment. And you say that when you, or say you look at a baby, or baby. a little puppy, puppy, something small and cute. Okay. You say, oh, shy baby. Shy, shy baby. baby. Amari Gwen. We have a lot of Mardi Gwens here. Mardi Gwen is a mosquito. Um, I can go outside right now and get tore up by the Mardi Gwen. Beautiful. This one is super hard to understand because it has so many curious little bits that are completely... Yo, do they just, like, change words at their own will? Like, uh, Mardi Quinn? Mardi Quinn? Mardi Quinn is a mosquito? Mardi Quinn? ...different from what you hear in the rest of the US, but very, very cool. The rhythm, the expressions. Wait. What is going on? What the most characteristic? <laughs> yeah, you tell me, bro. What is? <laughs> Yo, I don't even. Honestly, I don't even think subtitles be able to do this. I honestly don't even think. <laughs> What did he say? What is going on? Well, the most characteristic feature of the accent is that there is no the sound. And they say things like, Laissez les bons temps rouler. So they speak because... French. What? Quand j'étais petit, j'ai fait mon idée. Un jour, quand je suis grand, j'aurai un fin. J'aurai des vaches. Is even English? Yeah, it's a kind of English that's full of French, but not only French, also ah. Spanish, British English. And there's even a layer from various African languages. That's not how you say it in the regular French, by the way. And who speaks like this? Well, it's the Cajuns, of course. The Cajun people have French-Canadian descent, and they speak their own French Creole language. Or yeah, no, nah, bro, that's unfair. Of course, we can't understand it. They're speaking their own language. They made up a mix of languages between French and English, bro. Cajun French. Don't bow my dick, cavalier. Do it. Your, Your boyfriend told me you had a hard head. Try. Try. Put them together, and what do you get? Well, you get a Cajun. Your boyfriend told me you had a hard head.
I love it. I love it. English accent. I love You're it. Most... Does anyone watching this video talk like that? Like, you gotta let me know. You hear this cool accent down in rural southern Louisiana. Wildlife okay. and fishery agents. A fat no Thibodeau showed up in Miss Boudreaux's house. Miss Boudreaux was so upset, crying. Mr. Boudreaux ain't come back from fishing. So. Yo, I know for a fact there's people watching this from Louisiana. Is this how you talk? Bro, if you talk like this, we need to hop in the call one day and I just want to have a conversation. I really do. I know Thibodeau, the wildlife fishery agent said, we're going to find them, Miss Boudreaux. Don't worry, we're going to find them. Quite distinctive, huh? Unless you're one of them, good luck understanding anything. <laughs> Do they deserve to win this battle of the accents? Well, almost, but not quite. Wait, the how are we getting harder most this? most difficult American accent of all is, drum roll, please. If I go to Beaufort and I talk to somebody and they order something in the thing, they ask me two or three times, two or three, two or three times, what is it? What do you want? I, I don't... Wait, but I understand this more than the last one. I actually know I, I can like grab onto some words here. I want. We had a tea to go to for the um for the president. I we what? all wanted to iron the dress to get the crease out of it where it had been taped up, and I went to every suite in that norm. If you are a ding batter, we'll forgive you for thinking a piece of Ollie's backyard drifted out to sea and ended up here. It's got some real British vowel sounds. Listen. We is blowing really hard. He said it's blowing it's blowing harder than a pop car right there. You know. You take it a ride around the island, you just take a little scud. Isn't this amazing? It's an accent that came from... Do you know what's crazy? Like, it is hard to understand, but I feel like with the last one, I couldn't even, like, understand any word. With this, I'm understanding a couple words. From pirates, sailors, Africans, and Native Americans who were isolated here a very, very long time ago. Okay. He's still isolated. No wonder the local English is so unusual. The biggest thing that stands oh, is out is the a island? totally one-of-a-kind vowel pronunciation and archaic words void, preserved void. from old English just to mess with our modern ears. Where are we? Well, not too many options here. It can only be the Outer Banks Islands. A oh. whole bunch of these here with names like Okra Coke and... Oh, God, I hope I'm saying that right, but <laughs> I'm not done. If you have the muscle to canoe 187 miles north, there's another East Coast Island accent that'll have you shaking your heads and throwing your hands in the air. So I had to get out, I had some arms and coral and, coral and casting out there all day. Okay, yeah, I, d I don't know one word he said. I don't even know a syllable he said, I don't think. I, I think I heard head and that was about it. She was about the counter. She said, it's a lie, way, Jack. I said, who's that, man? <laughs> <laughs> this tree here, this will go underwater. These yards will go under during storms. Oh, don't look at me just because I'm British. <laughs> no clue, none whatsoever, as you can probably tell. If I can't understand, well... <laughs> oh, wait, he is British. All right, so this guy's British. His accent is like... It does sound British, but it don't sound British. It, it, it sounds a bit like he's definitely travelled. Surely, right? Surely. Is he just fully British? Am I, I'm just, bro, you know what? I'm, I'm just dumb, man. I'm just dumb, bro. I don't even know my own. I don't even know my own. They not win this contest, but is there an even crazier accent out there? Well, if there is, it'll come from down south for sure. And I'll show you exactly which one I'm thinking of in this next video over here. Of course, you might not agree with me. You know you what? Can let me know after you've watched the video. That was a really fun video, though. I, I honestly, I really enjoy these at same videos. Hopefully, you guys have fun with it as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let me know if any of you guys have those accents. I'm sure a lot of you do. It'd be really cool to find out. But yeah, great video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on twitch.tv forward slash l3wg if you guys want to check me out over there i'll see you all in the next one peace